arc motion, and puddle control technique. So far, what you have learned is the straight push or pull your puddle through your weld zone. And that's a perfectly acceptable technique, especially when you're working on thinner materials. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to the next level with arc motion. What this is gonna do is this is gonna develop your vision of the puddle, it's gonna give you more control, better penetration, it's also gonna make your weld look pretty. Now, so far what you have learned is an equation. The settings of the machine in accordance to the thickness of the material plus your speed of travel through your weld zone equals good weld. Now, we're gonna add another variable to it. We are gonna add a arc motion. So what we like to do here at Arc Academy in our classes is we like to do double V chamfered butt joints and uh, lock them together with vice grips such as this. So we've already cut and prepped, that's our chamfer and uh, prepping our material. Now we wanna tack and weld. So when we are tacking, what we're gonna do is we essentially have about quarter inch depth to our legs here on either side. So we wanna, we want to tack the material together with your machine set at quarter of an inch. So our tack pattern for this particular exercise is gonna be one, two, three. That will give us two weld zones to practice on. After you tack, what we wanna do is clean and then reset the machine. So just remember that, it's a little bit of a rhyme. In between, clean, reset your machine. But we're gonna reset our machine to eighth of an inch. That's gonna take, uh, that's gonna allow us to go a little slower. It's gonna have more heat in one area, uh, allowing to penetrate into, in order to practice our arc motion technique. We want to get into a rhythm, a pacing of speed, moving through the weld joint and executing our puddle control arc motion. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to puddle up so the puddle breaks the A and C edges and crowns in the back. But what we want to do is we want to establish the movement. Now I'm going to give you a couple of, couple of recommendations on this. First thing, don't move your support hand too much. You don't want to get into the Popeye and the opposite hand, you don't want to get into the chicken dance. Don't go up into your elbow and in your shoulder. What you want to do is use these smaller joints. So if you want to use your wrist, your setup's going to look a little like this. Rest your hands down, don't add your weight. When you pull the trigger, develop the puddle, but then just move back and forth, rolling your wrists as you go pulling the puddle through. It's all about the puddle. You got to keep that puddle the same size the entire time while you are executing your control. Now, if you're doing a straight draw, maybe your wrist just like so. If you're doing something moving across, what I like to do is when I set up my position like so, I puddle up, pull the trigger, and then what I like to do is execute it by squeezing and releasing with my fingers. And that is a very subtle, slight motion. You're only moving the arc maybe a quarter of an inch at a time. So you wanna keep it consistent, you wanna keep it tight, and you need to keep that puddle the same size. So whatever you plan on doing to execute your motion, make sure you're comfortable doing it. So I'm gonna demonstrate with the wrist roll technique as I draw straight toward me.